left. <laughs> Raise your hand if you if you think you wait. Wait, Soup, what are you doing again? Uh, you can't be racist to white people. Okay, so raise your hand if you can be racist to white people, if you think that. Alright, I guess we can get... Who's that guy I promised to come up here? Uh, he Morin? Oh, he's no, he's down. still there. He actually I DM'd me and said, uh, tell him that yeah, you did me I, wrong. I got, I'm gonna be honest, Sick. You did me dirty, but, like, I'm gonna be honest. Do you want to debate this? Do you think you can be <laughs> racist to white people? Uh, I, I, um, yeah, I, uh, I think you could be, uh, or what do you mean, be racist to white people? Oh, yeah, yeah, you, Just yeah, be, yeah. Can you be racist to I white people? Yes. I think, yes. Okay, uh, so change your name to yes, to change your name to no. Oh, okay. Uh, he said no? Okay, I guess we're doing this. Um, well. <sighs> Wait, are you white, Morin? <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm from the Philippines. Okay, okay, well then, yeah. this will be interesting. <sighs> but, uh, so... Uh, maybe we should do introductions. Is that all right with you, Sick? Um, yeah, I guess. I don't really care. All right, hey, yeah. I'm, uh, Morin. Nice to meet you guys. Um, so, my thing is, usually when I see these debates up here, on the stage, it's mainly been people, you know, it's, I, I don't like calling it this, but it is what it is. Uh, like a Ben Shapiro-style debate, uh, debate, where it's, uh, you want to score as many points against your opposition as possible, which... I don't want to do here. I want to find middle ground. If that's mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. all right with you, Soup. Uh, so yeah, okay. it's fine by uh, me. Let's start off. Can you be racist to white people? Uh, I'll, I guess, uh, do you want to make an introduction? Or? Um, I can make an introduction. Oh, yeah. uh, so I'm I'm just Soup. You can just call me Soup. And uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think, like, I'm not trying to be a white savior about it or, like, anything like that, but I don't think like is anybody really getting offended by being called cracker honestly like that's not the thing though well that's a part that's of it. anybody who says that they're somebody's being well. racist towards them as a white person the first thing they say is oh well we can't say the n-word but you could call me a cracker I like that's silly. like that's equivalent I agree, I agree with you that's a silly argument because yeah. it doesn't really be an argument like here so that, like, words in itself is like, poof, yikes, like, so what? Someone said something to you. What, do you want a cookie? But, um, here's where it gets different. Here's where it gets different. Uh, I grew up in, down in Georgia, all right? I grew up, um, well, I was born, I moved to where, I think, I think, I forgot what year. Um, so, I was around the Edenton area, and that's where I went to school for a few years, and it was, this was a black majority school, because the area I lived in, uh, haven't really, you know. Uh, so... In this school, I had this uh, white friend. I forgot his name. I think it was either Joshua or something, you know. And the thing about what happened to him is he got basically shunned out of every single group. And it wasn't because of the way he acted. He, he was a cool guy when I talked to him. It's not because of this or that. It's just because he's white. And I had a conversation in school, one of the minority groups uh, at the time. I was a part of a, at the time, I was part of a Mexican gang. No joke. It was fun. Um, I was <laughs> No, seriously. No, seriously. Um, Aren't you, like, 60? Oh, it was it was a weird school. Don't get me wrong. All right, all right. But that's <laughs> discrimination based on race. That in itself is racism. I mean... Um, like, uh, you call it prejudice, but even then, like, if you go back to the 60s and you see someone being racist to a black person, you're not saying it's prejudice with power, you're saying it's racism because one thinks uh, they're above someone else because of their race in itself. And to say it not is, in my opinion, silly. I, I see where you're coming from. And it's like, it's not like I disagree with that, like, like, nobody should specifically be shunning somebody for their race. But at the same time, and I'm not saying that that's okay. At the same time, though, it's like, we were never oppressed. So, like, in my case, I think a lot of people define racism as, like, not so just what you said, but also, no. like... And power, and power. Deliberately Socio bullying them and the power as well, yeah, which... I disagree with that, but... Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, we have had the power for so long. And, I mean, especially in the United States, which is, like, it's still pretty new, considering, you know, most other countries, right? And, like, I don't know. I just can't see how I could ever be in a position where I feel like I'm being targeted for my race, because it's just not what happens. No, I got you. 
Um, so can I um, explain to you why I disagree with you? Um, yeah, go ahead. So I'm a big history buff. Uh, it's why I wanted to do the theology thing, atheism versus um, uh, uh, atheism versus uh, theology, because I'm a big yeah. history buff. But since I got that <laughs> taken from me, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm just going to go around like this. When you say white people, be specific. Do you mean uh, Indo-Europeans? Do you mean the Irish? Do you mean the British? Do you mean the people who colonized the United States? The reason you have to be specific is because, let me give you an example, two great examples. Uh, so let's look at the Irish and the uh, Irish and the uh, Italians. So the Italians were discriminated against for years. If you just look at what happened, uh, I think I think it's either pre-30s or post-40s. It's somewhere after or before the time. They were hella discriminated against. And then they basically Whoa. formed capos to protect themselves. And then let's ignore that. Let's go to somewhere else. So let's go to the Irish. The Irish are a very interesting case because a good chunk of supposed whites in the United States uh, belong to the Irish, all right? So, okay, let's look at it from here. The Irish, uh, the, how they got to the United States in the first place was that in, uh, I'm sorry, give me a second, in British, no, yeah, no, in uh, the, Brit uh, the British, really, you know, freaking A, didn't like the Irish, all right? Um, so what they did was they basically caused a potato famine, which killed about a million Irish. At the time, that was basically a holocaust. Okay, but... Population at the time. So... The okay. Irish, because of the potato famine, had to move somewhere else. And guess where a good chunk of them came? They came to the United States. And do you think they were just taken in? Do you think they were just, hey, you're uh, you know, same skin color, bro. Let's hang out. No, no, absolutely not. They were discriminated against. They were upheld. They By were other against. white people, though. Yes. <laughs> like, people, like people are saying in the chat. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to laugh, like, in the middle no, of you no, talking. It's just the chat. Like, saying white people is so big it's like saying the same black people when you say black people you're talking about the ethnicity of african americans which they originated from you know uh like uh, ethiopian or indo-ethiopian you got to be specific about it because if you don't uh there's a big problem with it all right you understand what i'm saying so when you mm -hmm. say racist against white people i hate that question because it is so vague and and, 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 and unlike answerable because i don't know what you mean by white people mm -hmm. All right, I actually had, do have something to say. Oh, um, so I'm actually French. Like, well, I, I obviously am from the United States, but like ethnicity, like my ethnicity is French, right? So that means like in order for me to get here and my grandparents to get here, I don't know if you know the history behind like people from Nova Scotia who came from France and went there and like they were discriminated against by like British people and like they burned down their homes and we were sent to the Acadiana and like oh, gotcha. Louisiana and whatnot. And that's how, you know, somebody said French ain't an ethnicity. Oh my well, God. It's talking about the Indo European area. Yeah. No, yeah, no, no, no. it definitely is. Well, anyway, like, I, it, yes, mix, but... yes, we were discriminated against, but like, that's white on white crime. Like, I don't white know. On white crime, it's just like, <laughs> I mean, white, I, is, is it racism? Right? Is it racism if. I don't. Mm, I don't well, know. No, why? Why uh, the term "white" really was coined? Uh, I think mainly like I think 20th century, 1800, and then became incredibly god awful in uh, the 21st century as well. I'd like to uh, excuse my uh, little stutter when I have you in there, and uh, no, good. I like to talk kind of fast and kind of neurotic when it's like three in the morning. I just drank a cup of coffee, but uh, yeah. No. So it's just you can. You can say, yeah, white people have it easier. You can also say that uh, white people have had a substantial advantage in the United States. I'd be naive not to believe that. But to say you cannot be racist to whites or the just the ethnicity in the United States is absolutely bollocks insane. Because if you can say that, you can say you can't be racist to blacks. And then I can build up a thousand excuses for that. And then I'm going to get a lot of crap for that. But that's the God's honest truth. I get what you're saying, yeah. In my opinion, I guess now, I guess I needed to word it differently. Technically speaking, you can be racist towards anyone, but it doesn't hold much power when you're racist to people who are in power, I guess. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, like as in, the people who haven't really been oppressed, like, if you do, like... But what, when you say people haven't been oppressed, I think that's just like... It's well, like I mean, if we're talking Olympics, it's like, it, well, it, yeah, it, I mean, I don't know. But uh, sick, uh, sick, you there? Hey, um, so I want. Can I respond to someone in chat? Is that all right with you, or I have to, you know, cut something off? Because I, I'm, 
kind of crappy point of chat. I like yeah, I'd also know. like to. <laughs> Oh no, no! I'm, I'm, I don't disrespect you. I, I'm gonna definitely respond to you, but it's just like, no, no, no. I'm not against you. I'm just it's like I, your mic isn't working, dude. Star, uh, just look at the Irish. A thousand of the, uh, a million of them had Holocaust yeah, because you know they were Irish because of the British, and then when they moved to the United States, they were discriminated against. And then you can talk about the um, the, not the Scottish. The Scottish actually were not discriminated against as much as the Irish to the fact that the Scottish were brought to Georgia. Back in uh, I think seventy seventy six because no not seventy 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 six was the nation was before that because it was the trustee colonies but so oh he's gone Yo, can you hear me yes I can hear you now I'm sorry about that problem. okay yeah you can do that all right all right so um this is to star don't compare racism POC face to white white face what white face so if you're okay you maybe you would maybe have a point if you're talking about mainly British and though. European whites, which uh, colonized the United States, you have a, maybe a point there, but whites is an incredibly vague term, and you must be specific on how to use those. If you can't be specific, then you have no point. You have no legs to stand on, and that's all the statement I'm gonna make there. All right. So, you, no, well, uh, what were you saying? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh no, no, it's all right. It's all right. I'm just saying. So, say like we're just talking about like in America. Yeah. Like, I mean, what about just regular old, regular old? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, we'll be specific. We'll be very specific. 21st century United States. Yeah, I mean, in this context, like, yes. what could be racist towards them mm. that actually affects them more than, like, a person of color experiencing real, like, brutal racism? Because, to well, me, yeah. I feel they're Look different. At neighborhoods. Look at poor neighborhoods. People, I'm going to get a lot of crap for I'm about to say. Okay, I'm about to say something real controversial. You, a, um, you relate more to tax brackets than you do your own race if you compare it by numbers all right so True. and i mean bilaterally yeah you, you you have to take that by definition because for example poor whites have been absolutely nailed in the united states and this is poor minority whites all right so you got and you also have to be specific with that and if, you, if people want me to be specific with that i will but i think we should keep it as is um but yeah, that's one way whites have experienced some form of difficulty in the United States for being white. But white is it? A that's term not for being white, though. That's for being poor. Uh, that's yeah, two yeah, totally no, different no, things. That's not no, like you're getting no, racist Irish, comments. No, the Irish. <laughs> the Irish. Well, uh, we're not talking about the Irish. We're, we're no, talking no, about the. I mean, poor whites. <laughs> I mean, poor whites. It's just, you know, the, I'm not uh, laughing at you. The European group, which came to the United States, those were mainly the poor whites. Like I said, the Irish and the. Um, not the Scottish, the Irish, and the, uh, who's, po who's the pasta people? Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> uh, Italian, Italian, I reckon Italian. Thank you. I'm the pasta people! <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> okay. Racist. Hey, 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 it's all right. Uh, can yeah. I can excuse, I have a Irish, I know, Irish. Hey. I can make excuses. Let's go. Cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's totally my excuse. I'm uh, not a. So, do you have any rebuttal for that, though? Genuinely, because rebuttal for what? Some, no, no. If we're already found some semantics that you can be generally racist to white people, if we're going well, to I... go down into the fact that, okay, so what experiences a white face, which is can be considered prejudice? So, you know. Well, if we're talking about racism and not just prejudice, because prejudice is anything, like. You could be prejudiced against somebody for being poor, but that doesn't mean that they're experiencing, like, something racial. Like, they're not experiencing... Somebody just said prejudice is racism. No, oh. racism is prejudice. Prejudice is not racism, yeah, necessarily. It depends, it depends on the context. Anyway. Mm -hmm. And also, a lot of people in the chat don't know the difference between nationality, ethnicity, and race, which is just embarrassing on their part, but well, I, I'm I, gonna stay civil about it. I, I didn't want to say anything earlier, but it was a weird weird thing watching the debate with like uh with the religion thing because they got like a lot of specific nationalities wrong when they're talking about like the uh the islamics and things like that yeah uh, that's not a big bother but hey hey i'm not gonna judge anyone it's like what you know you know what's a, a lot of people mix that up i don't understand Dude, how but big land of course i want to read this you can't be racist to white people to all of, or and to all other wait what you can't Somebody be says, to white people and, and to all other races, nobody deserves to experience advantage. However, in all honesty, white people had trade advantage, unlike black people who are viewed as criminal, uh, just as criminals of color. As for Asians, people who are viewed dis uh, disgusting because of their culture or what they eat, 
being the bigger person in this picture, I say no black, white, uh, no, uh, I say no black, white, or Asian. They should not experience racism. Well, of course, that's a given. Like people want to take away hate as much as they want, but to say one group can't experience hate because they have advantages is god awful. All right, like I, I didn't grow up in in a, a high class neighborhood. I grew up in a low class neighborhood, and I, I rose, I rose my way to early college. You know, it's well, just like I, I, I didn't, I gained what I had. Yeah, of course, but we're talking we're not talking about class here. The thing oh, yeah, is, yes, people can absolutely yeah, people can absolutely be prejudiced against you for your class or for whatever else, but that doesn't make it like okay, so being rich that's a privilege. Yes. Being white that's a privilege. Yeah. Being like there's a lot of different privileges and then like we have to acknowledge that separately and not just consider oh that's a poor white person therefore they experience the same trouble as you know a person well, of color. that's not true well okay you didn't say it like that but you know what i'm saying though like no, each I'm individual saying. problem is different anyway somebody in the chat said that a person of color should be speaking in my place which is probably true Actually, I, was, I, I, I would love to see that yeah uh, i mean I if anybody if I, there I, is I, a person I, of color who so uh, to speak right my place Wait, maybe. aren't you a white person arguing that you can be racist too? I'm yeah. arguing that you can't be, yeah, yeah, or, I or at least it doesn't hold any power if you are. But I mean, well, historically, if, that's I disagree with that. But okay, no. so you're that's a white person. How I feel. So how isn't okay? Whatever you want, someone that's like I mean, if they want, oh yeah, sure. If someone supposedly wants a better representative, I think <laughs> somebody says she's our savior. Get out of here. Oh, the yikes. Are you comfortable Listen, with that? You want to get on? Bro, uh, it's not like that. Dude, uh, sick, dude. I'm going to be honest with you, man. I'm super nervous. Oh, yeah, dude, this is really nerve wracking. This, and... this is the biggest crowd I've experienced in uh, years now, or ever since You're... Corona. Ally well, yeah, Queen. I used to be a big debater when I was younger. Wow. But it was just, it's cancer, dude. Absolute cancer. Do you want someone that's a minority to speak on this yeah sure Henderson. yeah sure okay, well on, i mean you're already aren't you so somebody can Me? take my place if they're cool with it i mean like hopefully not a kid this time no offense okay so if you think you can't be racist to white people raise your hand and apparently you guys want minorities to speak on this oh, so yeah. uh so all right. see this shit. get someone to come up here Okay, okay. Yes, of course, obviously nobody can stand facing president. That is common. It will never be that way. I must not opinion. White people have it rather easy in America to develop uh, white privilege, but society can be divided oh, uh, only in different class. That black people and other POC are uh, uh, advantages in many ways because of the good, like intelligent, providing, uh, helping out low-income black communities and other as there is yeah. someone at the top, they, w they will always be divided. Yo, oh. are you... Do you, oh, are you, hey, Genesis, how you doing, bud? I'm, I'm all right, how are you? Hey, nice to meet you, my name's Morn. Uh, so, i like to get maybe a mild introduction from you, you know, break the ice. Uh, hold on, um, do you need me to change my name? To oh, change it to, change it to no. All right. Uh, it's not letting you're, me change you're it. You're a person of color, right? Yeah. And I know being in check is complain. Where are you from, Genesis? Um, I was born in the United States, but um, oh, okay. my my dad is from Mexico, and my mom's from El Salvador. Oh, hell of respect, hell of respect. So, um, I'll go next thing. So, the main statement is, can you be racist to white people? I say mm -hmm. no. Why do you say no? I say no because, okay, mm -hmm. so I think it all, I'm not going to bring up the whole um, I'm sorry in advance for, for the stuttering yeah. and for, you oh, know. No, 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 it's all right. Okay. I'm, I'm as, just as nervous as you. I'm yeah. barely holding my composure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this, all of this really stems back to capitalism. Um, I know that that isn't what this, what this is about. <laughs> no, no, but no. it goes back to capitalism. Um, to, hold on. I just want to say something really quick. For the people saying that I'm a no sabe que yo puedo hablar español más mejor es que ustedes, so. Thank you, but anyways. Dude, what are you saying? Anyways. Oh, Spanish? Dude, I should have yeah. been in Spanish class. <laughs> All right, okay, continue. Jennifer, okay, please. but anyways, so so the definition of, of racism 
um, according to the dictionary, is a belief or doctrine that inherited difference, differences among, among the various human racial groups determine cultural or individual achievements, usually involving the idea that one's own race is superior and has the right to dominate others or that a particular racial group is inferior to others. So, I mean, you said you 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 really like are big on history and stuff, and you brought up the fact that um, Irish people have been discriminated and well, different um, supposed kinds of like you know against yeah, but however they were discriminated against by other white people, and I think this whole discussion like when it started, um, whenever you were asking, um, whenever you were asking like what type of white because there's different types of white people, mm-hmm. I think what um, the person before me was really talking about was talking about being white in America and white people in America. Oh, no, okay, I get the point, but it's just people act like throughout history it's been a constant, but no, it hasn't, because it's, 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 a real, it's a really a big problem with mainly, how do I put this? So people were here first, you know, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not excluding the uh, Native Americans. I'm just talking about the, uh, uh, the Europeans, which colonized the United States in the beginning and then continued on. So the, after that, they became the supremacists for the time. They became the supposedly tired group. And if you look after that, you'll see how supposedly these different kinds of white have experienced discrimination. That's the only point I'm trying to make there. I'm not mm-hmm. trying to say that uh, whites don't have an advantage in the United States or anything of the sorts. That'd be naive. But what I'm trying to say is to think that the wh- wh- whites, the guy, cancers, have not had any d- uh, difficulty in the United States due to their race. It's 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 that in itself is, is, as well as naive. Difficulties as in what kind of difficulties? Difficulties simply because they are white? Difficulties because they are being shot up well, in the streets well, because they are white? Being racially... Well, yeah. Profile because they are white. Uh, I think I forgot the name of the case, but a man down in Georgia got lynched because he was Jewish, Uh, and this is mainly because people thought he molested a girl. But uh, people, uh, well, after the fact, they uh, he was sentenced not guilty, and people were mad about that. And people from her hometown, I forgot the name of the man. It's it's god awful. I'm sorry about that. But he he was lynched, and yes, people are getting shot. Yes, but I'm looking at it throughout a historical lens. If you talk mainly strictly about the 21st century, we can have that conversation. But there's obvious discrimination happening to both people and both sides. Yes, one side is getting the brunt of it, but you cannot take any context out of the side which is taking it. It's like, okay, so earlier we had the whole conversation about uh, – were you here for the abortion and rape conversation, Genesis? Uh, No. Well, my thing about that is you can care about the 1% and then – disagree with the 99% or you can care about both the 99 and the 1% like false rape accusations and actual rape you know mm-hmm. or the 1% of abort- uh, abortions who have been uh, who were raped that's god awful but 99 it's it's due to financial reasons you know mm-hmm. so I- I- a lot of it has to do with context but I- I- it's a whole conversation but Jew- sorry hold on somebody just said Jews are Hispanic yeah, what what, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, I'm not talking about Judaism as a, uh, a religion. I'm talking about the ethnicity, and then I'm talking about how, okay, they're one of the more uh, earlier ethnicities in the United States, which, damn, they're white, but they're different because they're more, you know. At, at mm-hmm. first, they had dark skin, but then they assimilated, and uh, you can see that in the trustees down in Georgia and what happened in the Carolinas after, um, no, it was before Reconstruction and before uh, the Rebel- uh, Revolution. I gotta think. I gotta think. Can I can because I ask I you why be, why they were assimilated? Why they were assimilated? Because mm-hmm. they moved here because they had problems in the Middle East, and then mm-hmm. after World War II, they had more problems in the uh, Middle East in the general, and that's why Zionism exists, buddy. But that's too simple. That's too simple. Uh, I simplified it too much. I'd like to apologize. All right, uh, to anyone who thinks fool for doing that, you know, it's understandable. But uh, so I want to know how you would respond to that. Then Jews historically aren't white. You're right. Uh, I left to uh, gossip page to talkers. Yeah, you're right. But uh, the thing about it is, is after the assimilation, some can be considered white, and that's like, you, but that's talking about the 1920s to the 40s. And if you if you make that point that you cannot consider the Irish from between the um, uh, I think post 80s to early um, post 80s to early 50s, uh, Irish white nor the um, Italians. All right, and then I think there's a few more Indo uh, European groups which can be called that, but I have no. I'm not going to speak. 
from something I don't know. All right. I'm being mm-hmm. genuine there. Um, okay, so Dr. Zilat, okay, can I, uh, I'm sorry, Genesis, I don't, I, no, I should give good. you a chance. You're good. But this person right here, where did the t- word cracker come from? I'm genuinely curious. So there's two uh, viabilities to where the word cracker came from, all right? And here's the, uh, the, mo- the one mostly accepted in West is how um, uh, African Americans uh, said it for, um, uh, called white crackers because of the crack of the whip on their back. But um, it can also be traced to, uh, I think, okay, the reason people in the Americas came to America is to colonize America. One of the main reasons, specifically in Georgia, I, I, I use Georgia a lot because Georgia has, um, so if we go to Britain, uh, Midwest, no, Midwest, just eat, soggy, never eat. Okay, Southwest, Britain, had a big problem with uh, like uh, socially because there was a discrepancy between poor whites and rich whites. So basically a class war, all right, and then they would make an incredible dentured serpents. So that could, that's one way it's theorized. But I don't agree with that, and I'm not going to say it's fact. All I'm going to give it, make is a statement. But uh, mm-hmm. Genesis, uh, you have a, uh, have a response? Okay, so when whenever I, I joined in here and whenever I was listening to your conversation with um, the person before me, like I said earlier, oh, shit, my phone's about to die. Like I said earlier, what I think what they were mainly focusing on was was – white people in America and that that's why I asked to get on here because that is what you know I assume this whole conversation was about so um I apologize if like everything that I'm saying isn't exactly responding to exactly what oh, you no, were saying that's 100 percent. no it use what you have in your arsenal to uh you know uh, argue your points I'm not gonna judge you if if anything if I if anything is wrong everyone makes mistakes I've made a few mistakes up here you know I stutter speak a little fast but continue okay so my my main argument as to whether like when people say you can be racist towards white people is it, i bring up i always <laughs> i always bring up capitalism and i always bring up the fact that white privilege exists in america and the fact that white people have an unfair advantage to people of color living um i'm i'm focusing on america because this is where i live no, and this I is understand. where yeah, this is where I have the most knowledge on. I, I understand that maybe in some other countries, it's it's way different, and then I can understand like why I can kind of see what people start to say. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. But, so, are you saying you're, when you say capitalism, do you mean it's mostly a um, not race war, but um, it's mostly a classist issue? Because you can make that argument. Lenin made that argument. So did the uh, Marxist Manifesto, but I I I, I haven't read it much mm-hmm. there. I would um I have to, I've been a big fan of people like uh, I'm more of a psychology expert than a history. Uh, history is mm-hmm. like one of my weak suits, but uh, I listen to people like Jordan Peterson, uh, Carl Jung, uh, Nietzsche, and they have great explanations on. That's why I wanted to talk about or um religion in the first place, mm-hmm. but it's just like whew, uh, I got that taken away from me. And sick, I don't blame you for that. I don't blame you. For that. You're a cool guy. <laughs> Um, but if it's a classist issue, then it has nothing to do with, it, it has something to do with both, I'd say, because you can't set one to another. It's like I said, naive. Yeah, when I bring up, when I bring up capitalism, I'm referring to the fact that the way the system that we have in the United States right now, the way that it was designed to work was to put white people on a pedestal and to have people of color carrying that pedestal for, for white people to be elevated, if that makes sense. That is the way that, oh, that okay. our system that's, was designed uh, to work. Okay, no, that's classism, and uh, and you uh, know you can say it as a part of racism. No, that's that's this not entire classism. Con- classism would be arguing the like arguing. I don't know. Hold on, I'm trying to find the way like words to explain what I'm saying. Oh no no no! Well, take your time. Take your time. Like, uh, I'm not gonna rush you. Uh, you. Yeah, like somebody said, they do come in ha- hand in hand. But what I'm talking about isn't mm-hmm. isn't necessarily classism. It's the fact that. The system that we have today not only profits off of racism, but it's literally designed to work off of racism. But the way you talk about it, you talk about it exactly how uh, – who wrote the Marxist, uh, the, uh, Marxist Manifesto? Or Mar- uh, Karl Marx. I'm, I'm deficient. I'm sorry. So <laughs> Karl Marx. Karl Marx explained an exact concept like this, and it was, I think – there was two kinds. It was the, the basically bourgeoisie and another one. I forgot the name. 
I, I need to read up on that. I'm, I apologize there. But so there's two kinds, and one's the rich, one's basically poor, and then this is poor ethno group. And uh, that's basically what you were describing. A poor ethno group got outraged by the uh, the higher, um, higher, supposedly richer, more dominant uh, group in the society. And I think that's a terrible thing. But to say we haven't advanced, or and I'm not saying you haven't said that. I'm just going to make a statement, just a general mm -hmm. statement. Yeah. Uh, I would say that as a society, we've advanced from that. And I'm, and I'm, I'm not going to make the statement that, oh, there, is, there isn't any more systemic problems in the United States. That's, like I said, naive. I believe the judicial system needs an audit, a complete audit. But it's, it's an incredible argu or argument of semantics. And mm -hmm. I, I need, obviously, I need to look more into it. But I can, I'm, I'm only going to make statements based on the knowledge I have at the time and then mm -hmm. what I can infer from it. You understand what I'm saying? And I think that's exactly mm -hmm. what you're doing, if I'm, if I'm not wrong. Am I, am I wrong? <laughs> I just, <it> like... <laughs> uh. Oh, she's gone? Hello? Oh, Genesis, I can hear you. Uh, oh, okay. Sorry. I, I, I'm not wrong, am I? I'm just making sure I just... Oh, yeah. Um... No, not necessarily. But again, that it, that's like not where I was going. I'm sorry. English is like not my first language. I'm trying to find like the good words that I would use. Um, but yeah, like I was saying earlier, yes, when like how you mentioned that, yes, systemic racism is still it. <laughs> I said go off in Spanish. Oh, um, I'm, no, take your time. Um, but when when people argue when people argue that you can be racist to to white people they use the fact that oh um people of color now are are thinking that they are entitled people of color are now um making offensive terms terms they are doing this and that and like snow roach that was a joke by the mm -hmm. way please don't hurt me yes, admins that, like All that right, people, um... people get offended by that but i think there's a difference between snow roach would like having a history as like being used to oppress but both both are people? both are racial slurs you, you and well, one might have a history but you can't deny that i would say they have not not the same value but they're both in itself racist you're thinking above someone and insulting their race in itself that's incredibly god awful and as a person or as no not as a person as an individual to do that is to basically say i don't know uh you're better than someone else. And I don't know, I think if you look at can you be racist to white people, I'd yeah, say that's I, pretty damn I, racist. Understand. I think I, um, as, a, as a person of color, understand why, why especially black and indigenous people would be angry towards oh, white I people. Oh, I have hella of all the history. Sorry. And I understand when, when people, when people of color, and I emphasize indigenous and black people, because those two minority groups are the ones that are majorly stepped on and majorly si like silenced but um like when when people of color say that they are cautious around white people um i actually had a conversation with my friend about this earlier when when people of color say that they are cautious around white people because of things that have happened to them in the past um she brought up that she brought up the fact that um that is reverse racism because if if she as a white person would would say that she locks her do her doors when a person of color walks by or no, when she clutches her purse that would be seen as racism but <laughs> but the thing is that there is a there is a specific reason why people of color are cautious around white people because of everything that has happened down in history up until now and that will probably continue to happen in the future whereas white people in in history and up until now and up until that has changed have always been at the top well if we're talking about the west i agree with you i completely agree with you yes it is. but Sorry, hold on. i will make the same statement i made before and i don't want to start going in circles so we'll bring up a new topic uh, not new topic but a general conversation piece in a moment you have to be specific if you're not mm -hmm. specific your point can't stand on any legs, and that's no disrespect to you, all right? Yeah. I, I generally, you came up here, all right, and started, you talked in, in front of 200 people. That's a hell of a thing to do, all right? And hell of respect on your name, all right? I I'll give you that. I am shaking right now. <laughs> <laughs> Same, but I, uh, 
I don't have all the answers. I'm going to be honest with you. I do not have all the answers. But and what I will say is that I've had a pretty damn good conversation. I think that's where I'm going to end it. Do you yeah, guys I, agree? I just, yeah, I just oh, want to yeah. say something really quick. Um, so earlier, yeah, I mentioned that, yeah, you said that we had to be specific when talking about white people. And, yeah, I specified that when, when I was talking about white people, I was talking about white people in America because mm -hmm. this is where I was born. This is where I, I have lived my entire life. I this is you. where I have my entire experience and what I'm basing it on. But somebody said that um, that it's in the history. It, it happened. We can't do anything about it. And that we should just, like, I think I don't, they didn't say we should get over it, but they said like it doesn't matter anymore. It does matter, and it continues to matter because this is why this is why his somebody said this is why history will repeat itself. And yes, history is going to continue to repeat itself. We're going to see more people of color oh, drop dead on the streets because of systemic racism. Whoa! And because of all of this, I'm gonna make a response to that because I think I I kind of have to. But uh, mm -hmm. I want to make a quick statement too before I respond to that. Give me a moment. Uh, Genesis, I don't mean to, you know, put you aside. Sick, no, you there? Uh, so there's a guy named Floppa DMing me, and uh -huh. he apparently, what he's, what, what, supposedly what he's telling me, if what he's telling me is true, and it's incredibly interesting, all right, I, and he's asking if he can, uh, once once me and him are gone, can come up here and chip in, if that's all right with you. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, all right, all right. And then Genesis, to your point, uh, if we, uh, what we're seeing nowadays on college campuses, especially in extremist groups in the United States, uh, I've, uh, for, I took two years out of my life to study extremism on the left and the right, and mm -hmm. both of them are hard. But one focuses on mainly grassroots, which is uh, hard right or uh, uh, extremists, because they're mainly uh, they base their philosophy off a broken Nietzschean ideal of the Ubermensch, and I can explain that uh, in like a different DM. I can DM you it. But and then the left mainly focus uh, on a more Leninist approach to mm -hmm. extremism. And you can see that in neo segregation, the concept black only spaces, that kind of thing. And I think, like, why do you want to segregate people? Why do you want to be so like archi dimensional? Because people should be coming together. I respect everyone here, unless they give me a reason not to. So, mm -hmm. really. yeah, that, that goes that goes back to what I mentioned earlier: how people of color have to be cautious and feel the need to be cautious around white people because of things that have happened in the past and their past experiences with white with white people. It's not segregation, and I think it's. It's horrible to com compare it to segregation when these when these places are are safe places place oh my god safe, safe places. places yeah places. safe spaces oh, for for people of color to not feel like they have to walk on eggshells. But uh, you people. can say, but, but like I'm not gonna make the point, but I'm just gonna make the statement because it has to be made. All right, mm -hmm. White, whites could make the exact same statement, and I think that in itself is messed up. I think you shouldn't be scared of an entire. Uh, indigenous group or any any group in general because of uh, experiences with uh, a few or a and then, but I still understand where you're coming from completely because mm -hmm. it only totally takes one bad apple to ruin a batch, you know. Mm -hmm. But if we can find middle ground, and I think we can, let's say in itself, you can be racist to white people, but we can agree that they have some forms of systemic advantages in society and that uh, minorities as such do have disadvantages and to deny it would be a naive but as people we are pushing each other apart mainly due to extremism and extremism in the youth as you can see that in indoctrination indoctrination is beyond beyond me how people allow it it's it's it, 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 it's it's so incredibly silly it hurts yeah. you know seeing mm -hmm. youth and like people like me get indoctrinated into this extremist ideals and it's i i that's all i'm going to say about it yeah but I think this was a great talk. I respect all you guys. All right. Hell respect. Put respect on your guys' name. I'd like to shout out a homie real quick, uh, if that's all right with you, Sick, because he's been, like, hella, like, grinding to get here. Uh, I forgot their username. So the guy is talking about LGBTQ, uh, big shout out. I'm out. Um, okay. Do you guys? Okay. So, do you guys want to keep the topic different people? Or, uh, oh, yeah, Floppa. Hold up. Okay, Floppa, I invited you to speak. All right. So, I was, I was, I was going to make a point, uh, unfortunately, before the girl left. Um, I've been waiting to get up on the stage for a while, especially with this topic, because I did have, I did have something that I'd like to bring up as a point. Obviously, okay. there's no point in bringing it up now. 
but um uh yeah i can stick around and if if we're either moving to the uh, next topic or we're you know staying on this one i can stick around we're probably moving to the next one what is the topic it depends on uh what chat ones genesis i'll dm you i'll dm you what it was but um 